What's going on you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today it's a girls. Oh. Stop forgetting them. Guys is inclusive. It's just a phrase. You shouldn't be offended by that. It's 2020, nothing. It's like humankind. It's everyone. Nothing Anyways. is gender neutral now. Frick off. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a how-to channel and Thomas and I are gonna be teaching you how to foot jam tail up. We're gonna start on the flat, then we're gonna go to a bank, then we're gonna go to a quarter, and then we're gonna do like variations and have fun with them. So I hope you enjoy. Um, and yeah, let's let's learn foot jam tail whips. With women. All right, guys. So you may be wondering. You're probably not because you already looked up this video, so you have a good idea. But if you don't know, a foot jam tail whip is when you put your front foot in the front wheel, the bike spins around, and then you jump back on it. It's a fun trick. It's it's an intermediate trick. It just it takes some time to work with. But the basics of it is you want to hop. And if you're right foot forward, you're gonna put your right foot in the front wheel, and then you're gonna give it a kick with your back foot. If you're left, left foot forward, it's left foot and front wheel, kick with your back foot. And you basically just wanna hover over, balance. You fucks! Why you gotta ruin my... Oh. <sighs> Idiots. Like we came over here to be away and we could get this. No, I didn't, I came over Idiots. here to ride the boat. You rode right through the <laughs> shot because you're a clout chasing bitch. <laughs> Cloud chasing from someone with zero cloud. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, where was I? I'll just kick with the back foot. Yeah, and then you kick with the back foot, hover over, then as it comes around, you jump on. It looks something like this. Just like that. Yeah, first tee. Look first tee. So, the way I started doing them was I would ride up, like, kind of like this, just ride, chilling, like that, and then go like that. Horrible way to learn. Horrible, horrible way to learn because A, <laughs> if you'll notice, my cranks are like this, so when I want to jump on, I'm gonna be all cattywampus and probably fall over and die. So, what you want to do is take your time to learn, and you don't want to like bunny hop into it, you just kind of lift your back end up, which you'll do when your foot comes up, reach over, and as soon as your foot catches in and you feel your back end, like, lift up a little bit, you just want to give a little love, love tap with your back foot, and I'll spin right around, be super patient, and jump on it. And I've seen a lot of videos of kids like learning this and wanting to, and like asking questions. And they'll be chilling here, the whip is about to come around, and then this back foot is like trying to reach out and grab it and pull it in because they're getting impatient. The whip's gonna come around, and you basically wanna jump onto it as it gets almost fully around. Like you don't wanna try to reach for it or whatever, it's gonna come around if you're nice and solid in there. So, that's it. That's a, that's a foot jam whip. It's your fault, Jim. Just like that. Like back to back. Back to back. All right, again, just it, practice makes perfect. It takes a while to kind of get the motion of jumping into it, and you just want to hover your back foot like a flamingo. Don't let it touch. Just kind of flamingo it up here until the whip comes around. Be patient. It takes a little bit of balance, but once you kind of get the rhythm and the movement of it, easy breezy. Majority, I would think, is the motion of the handlebar. Yeah, exactly. It's just kind of up here. You want to kind of be level a little bit over your front wheel, and you can literally watch the bike come around, and then you just jump onto it. Don't panic. Don't freak out. You're not going to die doing this. It's, it's easy. So now... Easy peasy. Now, Senor Thomas is going to demonstrate how to do it on a bank because that's the next step. All right, so now that you got it decent on flat, or if you've had them decent on flat and you want to learn how to do it on a bank, this is your time to shine because Thomas Sanders is a master foot jam whip bank guy. Easy, uh, he's, he's decently good. He can, we can cut it out when he falls, but you want to find like a nice, not super steep, not super mellow bank. This one's perfect right here. And Thomas is gonna just show you one and then kind of walk you through on how to do it. Wow! All right, so what are your tips and tricks? Um, so I think once you're going to flat, you got the basics of like understanding it on flat. Getting it on the bank, I think is a lot of leaning forward. Once you lean forward, the rest of the bike is just gonna do a lot of the work for you. Um, the way I do it on here is when I foot jam, my wheel is kind of pointing down. 
so that way I have a little bit more room to kind of lean forward to help the bike come back around. So you just let the momentum carry you. Would you say it's easier than doing it on flat? If you're starting to learn the, um, like start learning them stuff, I think a smaller bank would be a little bit easier than flat. But to get like the actual motion of it, I think flat ground would be better. Huh, very so. nice. And should you be scared of doing this on a bank? Uh, no. Okay. Can Thanks. you get hurt? I mean, you could get hurt hopping off of a curb, so. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Thomas Sanders. He's a beautiful creature. Now we're gonna go over there and I'm gonna show you how to do it on a quarter pipe. So we're gonna be there in three, two, one, now. All right, now we're over here. I'm gonna show a quick one on this quarter pipe and then break it down for you. Damn. All right, so now it's time to do it on a quarter pipe. You wanna find like a nice mellow two to three. This is a three and a half foot. You've seen me probably do this, do a foot jam whip on this a thousand times. Maybe like once or twice. Maybe like once or twice. <laughs> but the, when I was first learning them on quarter pipes, what I was doing is I thought you would go up and basically be perpendicular with the coping and then just hop in right here. That's wrong. It's actually scarier to do that because when the whip comes around, you're, you have a better chance of casing and you're not that controlled. What I actually do is I come up at like a 45 degree angle about here and then when the whip comes around ready you look over your shoulder and you're able to pop right in and it's so much easier when you're coming at the quarter when you're going at that 45 degree angle you when, if you're doing this you should probably already know how to foot jam so go to the speed of like a decent foot jam like enough to pop out but not don't try to go like sky high and try to kick it in the air you want to go up and basically land with your foot already in the uh, front wheel and starting the kick. You don't want to like like kick and put your foot in while you're in the air because all that's going to do is shoot out your bike and you're not going to land it or have an easy time landing it. So I'll do a quick one right here with Thomas at this angle to show you what I'm talking about and then kind of break down some more stuff. Yeah, it's like you've done this before. Just a couple times. <laughs> so as you can see, I went up at that 45 degree angle, uh, got in and kicked right as I was landing and waited and was patient for the back wheel to be over the coping. So when I jumped in, the bike would actually be working with me and pulling me into the quarter and helping me turn in. Um, this, when I was first learning them, they were kind of sketchy because I always thought about missing my foot or whatever, but in the end, once you, you might hang up every now and then, but it's not a bad fall, and they're pretty easy to get out of if you're not feeling comfortable with it. So, hey. ding, ding. All right, now that you got foot jam whips flat, you got foot jam whips on banks, and you got foot jam whips on a quarter, it's time to have fun with them. And Thomas is going to demonstrate that with a nice little double foot jam whip on a on a bank one. Oh, also, huh. add oh, these things in. Yeah. Okay. So one Dude, thing that we do. Toe saver. We put bar ends, we wrap bar ends in tape and hammer them up into our forks to close the gap off between the tire and the fork. It will save your t little piggies, I swear to God. I, I always do it. To I just got shit on by a bird. Aww. Oh, you bitch. Anyways, so do that. It's a good thing to do. And Thomas is going to go do a double foot jam whip for you, right? Meow. Wow, first tee, boy. All right, so now that you, Thomas shows you the double foot jam whip, it's my turn to show you the whip to foot jam whip. Ooh, nice bike. Thomas got his first try. Definitely not gonna get my first try. And I gotta clear out all them freaking leaves down there because those are death. Ready for that first tee. <laughs> Definitely not. No pressure. Hell yeah, boy. All right, so now that you can do multiple whips in your foot jam whips because of this how-to, you're gonna wanna do spins in your foot jam whips. So Thomas is gonna demonstrate a nice little three foot jam whip. Wow, first try guy. 
Are you, I'm here to <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Thomas did his 360 foot jam whip. First tee. <laughs> I did my whip to whiplash, not first tee. Thomas did his double foot jam whip. First tee. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta do one. You wanna do spinny foot jam whips on quarters, you're gonna do a pressure 270 foot. I don't wanna do this one so bad. Yeah, you do. Oh. I'll do it. You're gonna do, <laughs> you're gonna do pressure 270 foot jam whip on a quarter. And we're gonna show that to you. And yeah. I'm probably gonna die because last time I tried this, I died. Yeah, it'd be all right. Yeah, progression channel. Yeah. All right, so we just went triple or nothing, or we're about to go triple or nothing for $10 on this 270 foot jam whip. But get ready to pay up, boy. So I'm about to land it. I, I, my eyes are pretty good that you're not gonna land it. Oh, get, get off. Look at how Still good the cold. sun is. Still I had cold, the ladybug man. on my shoulder. You pay hey, up, <laughs> Dang. I'm the champion. You're out $60. Do you take CVS receipts? No. Your cup, pay me out. Dang. $60 foot jam whip. That was my lunch money for the rest of the month. Aww. See, this is why you should learn foot jam whips. This is the best how to for it. I'll see you all next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at TheRealJRHobs. Follow my clothing company at YMBMX. Follow Thomas at Thomas underscore Sanders. And don't bet against you. <laughs> and don't bet for jam whips. Because you're going to lose. I'll see you <laughs> next time. Bye.